I was planning on being here exactly when the store opened, which was 10 o'clock. It is now 1.38, so I did not quite make that, and I have not had any coffee yet, so we will see how this shopping experience goes. There is actually two coffee places across the street that I haven't tried yet, so I might have to like hop over there after this. But I was looking into espresso machines because in January, I like to kind of like assess my coffee game. Like, is there anything new that I want to learn or like new technique, different types of grounds, beans, everything all together. And I decided that I officially want to invest in an espresso machine. I've had one before, but it broke. And then for whatever reason, I just like didn't get back into it. And last year I got a Brevel drip coffee and I like it, but I was specifically want just an espresso machine to kind of like learn other things to go with it. The store online said that they have two in stock of this specific espresso machine that I want. Now that I'm here a little bit later, I don't, who knows if it's here or not, but if uh, worst case scenario is not here, there is another store. It's just like 35 minutes away from me. I'm really hoping that they have it here and I don't have to continue to drive and then I can like get into it. So uh, fingers crossed that they actually have it in stock. This thing is so much bigger than I was expecting. Just went in there without a cart. And I was like, it's fine, I can carry it out. No, I needed a cart. I don't know if the actual machine is bigger than I was thinking or if there's just like a lot of packaging in it. We'll find out soon enough. They had an entire section of fall stuff still. Like there wasn't a ton there. There was a lot of K-cups. I don't actually have anything that I can use K-cups, but there was like caramel, pecan, pumpkin lattes, pumpkin spice, like all the pumpkins was still there. They did have some pumpkin chai tea. This is a brand that I've used before, but I've never had this specific kind and it sounds delightful. So now I need to go get some almond milk or coconut milk so I can brew this up and it says black tea too. So pumpkin spice chai black tea honestly i should have just grabbed the entire line that they had there there was like two rows of them i think this entire thing was 40 cents so i really should just go back in there and grab all of them to have on hand I am officially obsessed with this machine. These lattes are amazing. It works out perfect because I had a bunch of those Jack and Sally little cups, which I've always used them as espresso anyways, but they actually came with my teacup set. But when I sit down and have tea, I have like a big cup of tea. So like those cups never get used as tea and I have four of them. So I've just set them out now. It held two shots of espresso. Next thing I need to do is learn a little bit of latte art. If I could get a leaf down, I would be so happy. I did get some mail today, hot topic. And Killstar also had their clearance on sale and there was like a sale on top of the clearance. So some of these items were like 60% off. I have been gradually getting accessories and pieces for my Wednesday wardrobe. One of the main things I needed was some shoes. And at Hot Topic, there was like a pair that was almost 70% off, I wanna say. Because as of right now, I have five pieces. It would be great if I could have seven. So that way I could have an outfit for every day of the week. But this one, these shoes 
I think you're gonna go with my cardigan that I've already made. So I'm glad that this came first because I've ordered from quite a few different places. Ooh. Oh, they're like tied together. Oh my gosh, okay. <laughs> These are so much taller than I thought they were gonna be. Like the picture did not look this tall. I'm not mad about it. Let's see if they, okay, what size did I get? They totally fit and they are so super chonky. I love them so much. And I'm very impressed with how light they are. I feel like I'm not gonna take them off today. Like this is now, I'm just gonna wear them around the house all day. That is a fantastic start. Official Wednesday shoes to go with the cardigan, to go with the sweater vest, maybe the leg warmers. But let's just see what else we have here. Oh, when these go on sale, I have to stock up on them because I wear them literally with every outfit. And like this one, it ends up getting holes that were not created. Like I didn't make that one, it just happened. Got snagged on something, it looks fine, I'm still gonna wear it, but this one is a little bit lighter and obviously the fishnet is a little bit tighter. And I think a pair of tights, yes, I got one pair of tights too. I don't have this exact style, but I've ordered their tights before, so I know that this size is gonna fit me. Not sure what that one was for. Maybe I just like got it just to have on hand. This is gonna be gone before I even open all of this up. I need to get more marshmallow creamer though. They were completely out when I stopped at hy -Vee. It's right on the top, I have no idea. What is this? Oh, the headband. Love these, seriously. And it has a nice little padding on the inside too, so it doesn't like grind into your ears. Oh, let's put my, there we go. Okay, that's perfect. Yeah, let's adjust that a little bit there. All right, we're good. The Chaos Headband. They all have fun names with them. Still doesn't look familiar. Ooh, whoa, that almost went into my coffee. Maybe it's the relaxed fit ones. And this one is called Untamed. That's gonna get caught. It's actually a lot thicker than I was thinking of too. Almost longer than my skirt at the moment. So these will be good. Leggings, things like that. I'm not sure what the name of this one is, but I know exactly what I ordered. So I was really excited about this one. I do love their tags. And that has like a little bead up there too. I actually have the fishnet long sleeve on that I'm wanting, but it's like cut really low over here. So I don't think I'd want it to be any tighter. That back on. So this is what I had planned. Do I have that? Oh, that one. Not this necklace, but it's on. I'm not gonna take it off right now. I didn't have this planned, but we're gonna put it on anyways. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. This one is the dress. Okay. Oh, it's hot in here though. We're gonna take this off for a second. Counterculture skater dress. A little bit of fishnet at the top. Does it fit? Ooh, and it does flare out on the bottom. And I actually like the material that it's made of. It's kind of stretchy. This is seriously so cute. I was not expecting to like this one as much. And with all the accessories that I have on right now too, it just like goes with it perfectly. So top of it and the bottom flares out like that. I seriously feel like it misses pockets but it might make it stick out a little bit more on the sides if there were pockets. So I guess I'm okay with that. Don't know what this is. Night creature hair clips. Oh my gosh, it's the bat clips. Stick in my ponies. Oh, stop. This is so cute. There's the face. That is so cute. Can we get it in? There we go. I love that. <laughs> That's way too cute. Ooh, it's that stretchy material again. So cute. Again, this one is a lot lighter than I thought it was gonna be. I don't know why I keep thinking they're gonna be super heavy, but whatever fabric they're using, I'm in love. One last thing, and it's a sweater. This feels so cozy already. I could and sometimes do just live in sweaters and leggings, so I can always add onto my wardrobe with that. College goth knit sweater, dark gray and black. I'm really loving that color combo. If I actually finished my leg warmers, this would go perfect with that because that's the actual color. Like this exact gray is some of the yarn that I'm using for that. Super long 
So you can pull it over your fingers. Coziness level, 100. Hillstar has had this cosmetic line for quite a while called Coven Cosmetics. And I just got one color because I basically wear matte black lipstick every single day of my life. Matte liquid lipstick, cruelty free, vegan, says that it's long lasting, shake well before use, apply to bare lips and let dry for 60 seconds. Okay, so I'm gonna follow exactly what it says, but normally when I put my lipstick on, I do my foundation like over my lips. I set my foundation and then I put a lip liner on it too. I'll be be very impressed if this actually works that way. Oh, cool. Frosted glass on the bottom here. Totally in love with the packaging. This is the wand that I do like when I'm applying liquid lipstick. So there is nothing on now. You can even see like some of my foundation has come off. I'm just gonna go right in with this. The other reason that I like to use lip liner, apart from the fact that I feel like it helps really well with liquid lipstick it helps as like an extra barrier because it's freaking cold and like my lips get so dry so quickly okay that's pretty nice i love the wand that is like super precise love that it smells really good too not that that is something that really matters when you're talking about how long this product is gonna last i feel like this might be a buildable one because it's not quite as thick as the one that i am using right now it's drying really quickly. Okay, so that one's a point right there. I'm just gonna leave it for the rest of the night and see how it turns out. It feels really light too compared to the one that I wear every single day. Yeah, it just says long lasting. all of my Hexmas stuff has been kept in their original boxes. So like the tree, the lights, the ornaments, whatever box it comes in, I just keep it in that box and get these big containers, toss them in there and call it good. But this year, however, I did end up making a lot of my ornaments and also a lot of the decor. So like all the stuff that's in the movie room, so it doesn't come in a box because it was DIY. But luckily, Joanne's was having an amazing sale. Imagine that. The entire storage section was 60 to 70% off. The only thing that I didn't get that I was wanting was a tree bag. So the tree is gonna go back into the box if I don't find a bag for it. This is the wreath holder and a 24 inch wreath storage bag. I just got one of these because I measured the wreath that I have and it's a little bit smaller than 24 inches, but there is a lot of, like the berries stick out quite a bit. Uh, you can label in here like what's in this or like maybe the year if you want to do that. I'm, actually, I think I am going to do that. So this is, yeah. And then it pops out quite a bit. This next thing was not even on my list until I saw it on their site. This is going to be so much easier. I might see if they have a couple more. Oh my gosh. Okay. Yeah. This is super nice. So you plug in the end right here and then start to wind it. Organization to the max. So there are two of them in here. No, there are three. Never mind. There are three in here. Since I made so many ornaments this year, I just felt like it was time for me to get one of these. And then just three storage containers for whatever else I need to take down. Or maybe I'll like stack this stuff in there to keep it even more organized. Who knows? But first I need to make some more coffee. I'm like, how are there this many ornaments on here? It did not seem like I put that many on there, but I'm not even halfway through.
10 out of 10 recommend this if you are on the fence about trying this out. It's not a new invention in any way, shape, or form. I've just always been like, I don't need it. I can just wind it up on my own. No, this is so much easier. I'm gonna see if they have any more to wind up all my Halloween lights. My theme last year was Evil Dead, which looked amazing on this tree. I actually have quite a bit of room in this ornament box. Like that's, that's it for these. And this one that has all of my DIY pine cones and everything like that and the bats. So I think I'm gonna take it out of this box. It was just like a random ornament in there that haven't been used so I can continue organizing. feeling that this was gonna happen. This box took forever to get together. Like I had to get a hammer to smash the pieces together. They just barely fit. So I am fairly confident I will not be able to get it apart. I've tried to pull it, but I'm kind of like breaking the edge of it. And I actually do want to use it next year for my Krampus tree. So I think it's just gonna get stored like this for now, <sighs> which is sad because I wanted to put it in these big containers. It has now been five hours since I have put this lipstick on. We're gonna call it. I'm also getting tired and I'm ready to go to bed now, so I'm gonna call it for this. I had dinner, I had two more lattes. This is the result. It's pretty good, honestly. Comparing it to all of the liquid lipsticks that I've used, I would say this is probably top three that I've tried. The only reason I say that is because I do think that you have to build it up a little bit. It's really thin, so, which is great because you don't want it to be like crunchy and chunky on your lips. And you also don't want it to be super heavy. Like I don't like those types of lipsticks either. Because of that factor, I only did once over. And so like you can kind of see little cracks as the day has gone and like it hasn't peeled off or anything like like I said like this is pretty good like it is a whole lipstick still I do have my Wednesday inspired leg warmers that I want to show you a little bit of my progress but first I need to show you this it was sent to me by Lola Punk and there is even a tag on it freaking adorable the little handle like it has everything in here that I need. So huge shout out, thank you so much. Who doesn't love Chucky inspired notion bags? What am I using? I think it's a five, five millimeter crochet hook. That's what I've been using. I think that I'm having an allergic reaction from alpaca. So sad because literally, I think it was last year, I found out that I'm allergic to mohair and I crocheted this gorgeous sweater and couldn't wear it. I mean, I gifted it away. Someone is using it. It's not like it was wasted, but still I was excited about it and I had to gift it away. I have one completely finished, the dark gray, the black, and it's gonna be perfect with the shoes that I just got today. Very Wednesday inspired. I think I'm gonna try working on it a little bit more tonight but if my eyes start getting itchy, I, I'm just gonna have to call it. Like I really am. And it's so sad because I have so much Wednesday inspired yarn that I've gathered and collected and some that's still coming to me from different yarn stores that has alpaca in it. Because I mean like it's just fluffy, it's warm, it's beautiful. I love the drape, the flow, the everything of it. So I'm allergic to it. I'm just gonna be so sad. Regardless, I am gonna finish this pattern. It just might not have alpaca in it. I'll probably go back and get this actual gray. So I got all of this from Muse 2320 and this is like a silk. No, this is alpaca too, Never mind. No, I'll have to completely get something totally different. So let's just fingers crossed that tonight goes well. So on that note, I am gonna let you go for today, but thank you for hanging out with me, having a little bit of a fashion show here in the Yarn Dungeon. I hope that you had a fantastic time, and if you did, don't forget to like the video, subscribe, join the Ghoul Squad if you haven't done that yet. Otherwise, have a fantastically spooky rest of your evening, and I will see you in my next video.